to come back over to the uh, uh, portal and that is the the user portal button here and I'm going to come back over here to Dennis Toma and we're going to walk through the little this thing right here so we're going to hit migrate your site okay so we start off here with we've set up our SFTP SFTP credentials right like I said I should have probably done that for you live but this stuff actually happens when you get when you get started and he'd already set up his primary domain name being www.elderlawfirm.com all right this is something that you will need to do as soon as you sign up with them is set up that primary primary domain but once you've done that then you you know they suggest you back up your site before you upgrade and then make sure you're not using those disallowed plugins update your plugins and themes and wordpress core so obviously we did all that and then it takes you to export so export your database which we have already done and and then download your WP content folder which we've already done we're in this import process right now right and they recommend that you import your database first or or their instructions have you importing your database first frankly I disagree with that the problem with upgrading uh, updating your database first is that your database has a whole bunch of plugin settings and is expecting that those plugin settings to actually work and so as soon as you go to your site or as soon as there's yeah as soon as you go to your site it's going to record a bunch of errors because those plugins are not working so what I do is upload the files first and upload the database second okay and and then and we're going to do that here in just a moment and then they say preview and then we're going to configure DNS so we are very close I think to this yeah we're down to a thousand I can go ahead and start work start the yeah there's no reason why I shouldn't import the w, the database while the file is the files are being uploaded so we'll come back over here to to his install and on his install we'll go to PHP my admin and we're looking at Dennis Toman okay what we're gonna do is check or check all of those tables on the existing database and we'll just hit drop and say yes yeah we're gonna throw the database away and then what we're gonna do is come over to import and choose that file and remember I put that file here under documents my business website elderlaw.com and there is the SQL file and I'm just gonna hit go and okay let's see import has been successfully finished 164 queries executed if we come back over and take a look at the structure of the site all of those database tables were added 